Yes, good morning, LaDawn. Good morning, Bahamas. It's a great start to your Friday morning. This morning, we're giving you your first look at traffic. This one coming in from the Gerald Butler Drive and Cowpen Road intersection already this morning. Uh, there's a huge buildup of traffic, and uh, this is as a result of a rapid Bahamas distribution site. Now, helping us to uh, give some proper advice to motorists using this access road is uh, Corporal Charles, Charles Rule, rather, from the Royal Bahamas Police Force Traffic Division. Good morning, Officer Rule, and as we begin, as always, uh, paint a picture for us regards to overnight traffic. Uh, good morning, Alan. Good morning, Bahamas. Uh, for the past 24 hours, uh, we had a total of 10 traffic accidents, four of which included injuries and the remainder just damage only. And again, uh, one of those things uh, that I'd like to uh, talk about initially uh, is this very location. Uh, again, uh, for the past several week, re weeks, rather, Rabbit Bahamas has been assisting uh, over 100 uh, families uh, with regular food vouchers. But unfortunately, those lines have increased uh, now meandering over to the main road and uh, onto another uh, street here. What advice can you offer to uh, these persons as well as residents uh, who may experience some challenges as a result of this? All right, we know that persons are coming out here to receive those items. We just ask them to use their discretion and to also consider those persons that live in the area. Uh, for persons coming out, we ask them to pull to the side of the street, not to cause any obstruction to oncoming traffic, and also to be mindful of those persons that live in the area, not to block up their entrances as they need to exit their homes and return to their homes. Now, while it's unfortunate that many of these persons uh, have found themselves uh, furloughed or unemployed, needing that assistance, uh, is there a uh, legal uh, concern when it comes to uh, the way they park? Could they possibly receive a traffic ticket for obstructing, uh, for obstructing traffic here? Uh, most definitely. Um, we have uh, two major offenses uh, causing obstruction to the flow of traffic and also um, causing hindrance. Uh, we don't want to block those persons because we understand the situation that they're already in, but we just ask them to be mindful of others and use consideration. Now, another element of concern here on the island uh, is in the area of uh, downtown Nassau. We know that roadworks are continuing there. And then further along West Bay, we know that uh, there's some um, uh, delays and uh, concerns for motorists uh, over the past several days. We've had increased sea surges that have caused sand to meander over to the uh, main road there. Uh, so that's a concern for drivers. Additionally, if you're heading down the uh, West Carmichael Road area, that's uh, just west of uh, Bacardi Road, on the westbound lane, uh, you may also uh, experience some delays or challenges at road work, as roadworks rather are continuing there. Any other bits of uh, road work on the island that motorists uh, should be concerned about? Yes, we would like to draw attention uh, to the Charles Sanders area, uh, just in between Barnwell Gardens and the Seabreeze Lane area. They are constructing new sidewalks in that area. So we would advise all motorists to please exercise caution while traversing about that thoroughfare, not only for your safety but the safety of the road workers at the side. And then finally this morning, uh, it's been a concerning a point for me. Uh, again, motorists tend to get in uh, unfortunate accidents at any given time. And I know some persons have a habit of calling uh, the closest station to try to get some assistance. What advice can you offer motorists should they find themselves in a collision and needing assistance from the Royal Bahamas Police Force? Uh, should you find yourself in a, a traffic accident, we advise all persons to contact 919. Uh, that reason being that we want, want all the calls to come to a so central location and also should there be a hit and run model, we can radio a car that's in the immediate area rather than calling a station that will cause some time delay. We also advise persons that if we're on an accident scene that becomes volatile or um, possibly violent, that they can go to the nearest police station in that event. Well, some good advice and information coming in there from our Officer Rowe from the Royal Bahamas Police Force Traffic Division. And again, uh, be advised that there are several bits of road works going on throughout the island. So always drive with caution and care to avoid any possible delays or collisions. That's when you look at morning traffic. Reporting here from Calquin Road for the morning edition. Lloyd Allen, ZNS, Network News.